while we largely disagree with it and we have a right of appeal your lordship it is imperative for us to know or to assess how that office of the deputy president will be filled this court has affirmed its commitment to observe the rule of law and protect the constitution as decreed under article 3 of the constitution it follows therefore your lordship my ladies that the feeling of that vacancy must flow or must follow the constitution and as such your lordship and as much as I have not heard the court address that very pertinent issue it is my submission your lordship that I rise under rule, 20, rule 23 beg your pardon rule 23 and rule 24 of the mutunga rules and i make an application your lordship that pending the determination of this application done under rule 24 thus this honorable court does issue conservatory orders suspending the swearing in of Professor Kidure Kindiki on the following grounds. Your Lordship, Article 10 of this constitution, of, of the constitution, by this honorable court to observe the rule of law. It further calls upon this honorable court to commit itself to ensure that there is good governance, there is accountability and transparency in the manner in which matters are done or functions are executed. My Lord, with your kind permission, it's, it's an Mr. application. Mr. Jero has, uh, Mr. Jero has referred to an application uh, for which he's seeking uh, some orders pending, but we haven't seen any application in that regard. Yes, your, your Lordship, if Mr. Kamoso was keen to read the rules, the Mutunga rules allows me to move you informally and subsequent to me making an application informally, the court is called upon to reduce the same into a formal application. And that, your Lordship, I want to draw his attention to rule 24 sub rule 1 an application under, sub, under rule 23 may be made by way of notice of motion or by an informal document your lordship permit me to proceed with the grounds of my application it is clear lordship that the uh, court uh, my lord if i may i I respect my learned friends. My Lord, I respect. Yes, I, I, I respect Mr. Njiru. He's referring to an application that is non existent. Either he's referring to E554, Mr. Kamino, sit down. E554 of 2024, which is before the Court of Appeal, if you are referring to that application. But my Lord, if my learned friend is referring to, to the exercise of this court of a pistolary jurisdiction, then he should say so. But he cannot refer to the exercise of jurisdiction, my lord, when this court is functus as officio. You have rendered yourself on the question of the application. And therefore, they cannot urge an application unless they say, my lord, number one, is either served on us or two, my lord, because there's already an application for stay under section 52B of the Appellate Jurisdiction Act before the Court of Appeal that is live and that as a date, this court would not have jurisdiction to entertain any other application for stay. They tried making an application before co the Court of Appeal this morning using the same issues, my lord, and the Court of Appeal rejected the application. They are told to serve everyone else. So my lord, for my lord friend to come here and to seek to apply for stay again 
having a second bite at the cherry is dishonest, my lord. It's dishonest. They are before the Court of Appeal. Sir, may I suggest, Sir Professor Gender, that that could be your response yes. to the application which will be made by Degwa? Yes, if there's an application, yes. Thank you, thank you, Lordship. Your Lordship, uh, permit me to move on with my application. And I urge Professor Ojenda to have a look at the rules that I have just referred to. That your Lordship, you be kind enough to interrogate the circumstances under which that office shall be filled. Your Lordship, it is on record, and I invite the court to take judicial notice, that there is a clear non-existence of a crucial state organ that is supposed to oversee the processes of filling of that office in the name of the Independent Electoral and Boundary Commission. Your Lordship, the Independent and Boundary Commission is created under Article 88 of the Constitution. And the functions are created therein. One of the functions, your, 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 my lord, my lord, my lady, is to maintain a, a voters' register. Is to register voters. Under Article 99, your lordship of the Constitution, as read together with Article 137, creates the qualifications upon which the president or the deputy president must at attain if one is to hold office. My ladies, my lord, it is clear that the functions created under Article 99 of the Constitution can only be executed and all implemented by the Independent Electoral and Boundary Commission. It goes without saying, your lady, my ladies, my lords, that a deputy president designate or nominated must attain those qualifications. That is to mean, your, your, my, my ladies, my lord, that there must be an organ that will give a clean bill of health to say or to suggest that Professor Kidore Kindiki attains these qualifications. My lords, my ladies, I refer to the memorandum that was sent to the Speaker of the National Assembly by the President of the Republic of Kenya, dated the 18th of October 2024. In that memorandum, your lordship, the President drew the attention of the Speaker to the clearance of the, I, of the designated candidate by the IBC. And this is what the president had to say. Your Lordship, the president indicated that he has had confirmation that Professor Kidure Kindiki meets and attains the qualifications created under Article 99 as read together with Article 113 of the Constitution. Well, ladies, my lords, when the President of the Republic referred to the IBC, and I, take, I call upon the court to take judicial notice of that document, it was a presumption that that confirmation was done by the Electoral and Boundary Commission as created by the Constitution. Well, ladies, my lords, it is my, my humble appeal that this Honorable Court does fight in, our, in my favor to issue the conservatory order on the basis that there is no clearance that has been issued by the IBC. My Lord, we all know, my, my ladies, my, my Lord, lords. My Lord, may I kindly seek your guidance? Uh, when Mr. Jiro started off, we thought it would be a simple and a straightforward application. But now, seeing the trajectory it has taken, he has raised an avalanche of issues for which we would require them reduced in a particular format so that we can seek instructions from our clients. So we'll be seeking that uh, we get a formal thing that will enable us to uh, seek instructions from our clients. 
Dr. Kamudo for the 10th respondent. Your Lordship, I am making an application on the basis of the law. Your Lordship, if it is not crucial for us to have an IBC to confirm whether Professor Kithure Kindiki is a registered voter, that would mean, Your Lordship, that a person can go to Madare Hospital and designate a person to become a, a deputy president. The qualifications created by the Constitution have a mechanism of being established, Your Lordship. And the process of establishing those qualifications, Your Lordship, is set down and out in law. Your Lordship. Mr. Njiru, my understanding, when, yes, Lordship. when we first asked for this uh, conservative under, yes, Lordship. under, under Madhu paper, yes, it, it that, was... That is his application. Yeah. I have uh, on a different application. I moved under Article uh, 23. Uh, because 23. my understanding is that if you want the court to give conservatory orders immediately after rendering a ruling or a judgment, that application can be verbal but also very short because the court is already aware, has already expressed itself. That's correct. So that kind of application cannot be the beginning of another big Your Lordship, I am well guided. So I think for the purposes of, 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 the, the, of the discretion of the yes, bench, Lordship. for the purposes of the discretion of the bench, yes, I think Mr. Uchiang's, Mr. Uchiang's application is what we should, should be considered. Your application evidently requires to be formal uh y your lordship uh, I, I am well guided by the court but the court also needs to p perhaps appreciate the import of rule 24 that due to the vulnerability of their rights and the vulnerability of the infringement and the violation of the constitution i can appear but, but, but before you rights cannot be vulnerable individuals are May, 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 may I have Not my right. time and then you have your response, Professor? <coughs> your Lordship, this application is premised again on Article 3. The call upon every person to protect the Constitution. And as I point off, it is all clear to us that nobody can deny, not this court, not myself, nobody can bury his ha head under the sun, that there is no IBC. If Kidore Kindiki is to be sworn in tomorrow, what will be the import of swearing in a person who has not been verified and approved by the organ that is supposed to do so? Finally, Your Lordship, can this court fold its hands and watch and midwife and babysit a violation of the Constitution? What is the role of the court when it comes to the issue of Article 3 of the Constitution and the question of the sovereignty of the people? Your Lordship, I beg that you hear us. I beg that you grant the conservatory order staying the swearing in of Professor Kidure Kindiki on the basis that he has not qualified to, be, to hold that office. Secondly, on the basis that his purported qualification has not been verified by the body that is mandated to do so. In the absence of that, Your Lordship, you will be inviting us to, to say that even an insane person can become deputy president, a bankrupt person can objection, become deputy president. Objection, I rest uh, my case. My Lord, uh, let me respond to... So, 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 so that, uh, can I respond? Professor Ojenda and, yes, and every other council